Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. It's pretty early in the morning, but I want to welcome you to the mental house. Uh, with me, your host. You know, um, as I still grieve, and as I'm still going through the healing process of my brother being murdered, left in a, about maybe about three months ago now. Um, it's still so painful, and just because people go through the motions, and people. Uh, you know, seem okay. Sometimes it's just really not okay. Um, and uh, one of the hardest things is to uh, process when somebody murders your level. It's really, um, if I may speak honestly, it's really a hell of a way to um, experience uh, a death uh, because it almost at some point requires that you f you become a killer or at least you feel like one um and it goes through so many twists and turns because you are actually dealing with uh Something that you can't control, something that you can't change, and somebody had the audacity to feel that they could do that to your loved one. That's what I'm saying. And so, I kind of felt what Jay Prince was saying, you know, and what he didn't say, because... Like I said, and like he said, there's an element going on in this community that they have no respect. They are, uh, they are just a kind of scum that we really, really um, have to make a decision about how we going to deal with this element in our community. And it is going to take some real ones, some drop squads, to go out and, and to make it known. And I'm tired of seeing um, women in the forefront because I know, I know we'll do it. That's not even an issue. I want to see some brothers hold some brothers accountable. I want to see some real life drop squads out here. Stop this foolishness. And I want to see these brothers use their muscles. Liter literally and figuratively. I want to see some muscles. I want muscles. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um. I'm just saying. What Jay Prince said just um, struck a nerve with me. Somebody killed his nephew. Um, some low life. Uh, shot him straight through the heart. And he wanted to get the attention of all Houstonians. Uh, Houstonians, is that what they call them? And I'm just saying, I understand. And for those of y'all, anybody out there who have lost somebody um, due to violence and due to murder um, at the hands of another black man or a black woman, somebody that looks just like you, I just, I want you to know that, um, of course, you already know that you're not alone, but I want you to know that um, I share your grief, and what are you willing to do about it? It's 
especially if you're a man. What are you willing to do about it? And my condolences to the many families that's going through this crazy stuff. I'll see y'all in the next video.